Resuming debate, reprise de débat, the Honourable Member for Oshawa. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I'd like to start by saying I'll be sharing my time with the member from Durham. Um, I want to start off by thanking the NDP for bringing this motion uh, forward today. It's indeed an important issue uh, that the Liberals are refusing to deal with. The Liberals continue to state that their plan to legalize marijuana, and I quote, Madam Speaker, is to keep marijuana out of the hands of children and profits out of the hands of criminals. But the exact opposite is true. Mr. Speaker, I have numerous concerns and questions about the Liberals' lack of marijuana policy, and I know that many Canadians across the country do as well. The Liberals are providing no direction, and they continue to avoid answering important questions when it comes to their inconsistent drug policies. For example, who is monitoring these illegal marijuana dispensaries that are popping up across the country by the hundreds? How do we know where these illegal dispensaries are getting their marijuana from? Who is ensuring that these illegal marijuana dispensaries aren't producing laced marijuana? How can we be sure that these dispensaries aren't selling marijuana to children or diverting marijuana to children, and that they aren't targeting children by promoting kid-friendly edibles? How much marijuana will an individual be able to possess without consequences? If legalized or immediately decriminalized, will dispensaries be allowed to sell other edibles, which are known to be harder to monitor for THC levels? Will they be allowed to advertise these kid-friendly edibles? Mr. Speaker, I could go on and on, which is why I believe that decriminalizing uh, marijuana immediately is not the solution. As of right now, the distribution of marijuana is illegal unless a license by Health Canada has been issued and the producer complies with the marijuana for medical marijuana uh, for, for medical purposes regulations. Recently, at the Health Committee, we learned from Health Canada officials that the Liberals have allocated no money. That's zero dollars for the inspection of these illegal marijuana dispensaries. Mr. Speaker, in my riding of Oshawa, an illegal marijuana dispensary has recently popped up. The issue here is that it is illegal. Law enforcement agencies are unclear as to whether or not they should allow these dispensaries to continue to operate because the Liberals have announced an apparent plan to eventually legalize marijuana. Mr. Speaker, the fact of the matter is that the Liberals have been contradicting most of their campaign promises since forming government. They said they were going to legalize marijuana, but they also said they would run modest $10 billion deficits. They said they would run an open and competitive process to replace the CF-18s. They said they would allow or they would lower the small business tax rate. Mr. Speaker, they also promised $3 billion of an investment into palliative care, and that was nowhere to be found in the Liberals' budget. Clearly, Liberal campaign promises are cheap. We don't even know if marijuana is going to become legal, so why would decriminalizing it immediately be the solution? At this time, the only responsible solution is to enforce the law. And Mr. Speaker, on our side, our top priority needs to be the safety of all Canadians, especially our youth. The Liberals are doing a lot of talking by saying that marijuana is illegal until the criminal code is changed. Yet they're doing absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, Mr. Speaker, about the abundance of illegal marijuana dispensaries that are producing marijuana with zero oversight. This raises more questions that Canadians deserve to have answers to. How are municipalities and law enforcement agencies across the country supposed to operate without any <coughs> guidance from this Liberal government? Are the profits from these illegal marijuana dispensaries going to organize crime? We don't know, Mr. Speaker, because the Liberals don't really seem to care. They have, a, they have failed to provide a responsible, thought-out plan, and that's what's unacceptable about this current situation. As elected officials, Mr. Speaker, you know it's our job to represent our constituents as well as making sure that all Canadians, all Canadians are safe. Immediately decriminalizing marijuana does not solve the issue of illegal marijuana dispensaries. It does not ensure that Canadians will be responsible while using marijuana. It's easy for former politicians to advocate for decriminalization of marijuana when they have no responsibility to represent the good for their constituents. Mr. Speaker, as an elected member of Parliament, I have a responsibility to ensure that my constituents are safe. And, and now that one of these illegal dispensaries is in my riding of Oshawa, 
I'm concerned that is operating illegally and there are no inspections on what is being sold and to whom. I worry that marijuana products such as brownies and cookies might end up in the hands of, Can of Canadian kids. I know that my constituents will have questions and because of the lack of information from the Liberals, I will not be able to have very many answers for them, Mr. Speaker. This is why the immediate action that the Liberals must take is enforcing the law. Mr. Speaker, in my opinion, immediately decriminalizing the simple possession of marijuana for personal use does not take into consideration the implications this may have for, for example, traffic and workplace safety. Two, the health of Canadians, especially our adolescents and our youth. Three, international treaty obligations. And four, Canada's marijuana for medical purpose regime. Mr. Speaker, we realize that this issue is on the minds of Canadians and recently at the Conservative Party <coughs> Convention, the following resolution was passed. I quote, in order to expand the means which law enforcement authorities have at their disposal to combat drugs and their negative impacts, particularly among young people, and to reduce the volume of judicial proceedings, we recommend that peace officers be enabled to issue tickets for simple possession of small quantities of marijuana. While there is so much in the NDP motion that Conservatives could support, the motion calls to immediately decriminalize the simple possession of marijuana. Mr. Speaker, as you can see, there are far too many unanswered questions by the Liberal and for that for the Liberals, and for that reason, I will not be able to support this motion. Just because the Liberals made an irresponsible campaign promise without considering the consequences does not justify the House approving an irresponsible solution. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Questions and comments? The, uh, the member for New Westminster, Burnaby. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I thank the member for his, uh, his intervention. And it seems pretty clear in the debate that we're having today that uh, Liberals and Conservatives favour continuing to arrest Canadians for simple possession of pot. Now, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, can I, Madam Speaker, Canadians were actually asked this um, this last year. And they were asked whether simple pot possession for individual use should be decriminalized. And what's interesting, Madam Speaker, is that 68% of Canadians said yes, they agree with the NDP motion and they believe in decriminalization. What's even more impressive, I think, Madam Speaker, for the member, is that 70% of folks in Ontario also believe that simple possession of marijuana should be decriminalized, and 51% of folks who vote Conservative, Madam Speaker, actually agree with the NDP's motion and want to decriminalize marijuana. So given that 68% of Canadians and 51% of Conservatives agree with us, why is the member voting the other way? The Honourable Member for Oshawa. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and this, this really is a big difference between the Conservatives and the NDP. Um, in the motion, the NDP are asking to decriminalize immediately. And as I said at the beginning, our, uh, our focus always is the health and safety of Canadians. And even when the Liberals brought it forward, they said to keep the proceeds out of the hands of criminals and to keep our kids safe. And what Canadians expect us to do, uh, even if they're supportive of an action, is to make sure that we have all the things in place to make sure that Canadians will uh, maintain their safety. I mentioned so many things that are, are wrong with the current situation and, and I am in full agreement with the NDP that the Liberals have made a disaster out of this. Um, I was very sad to hear that uh, they didn't even put any money aside for uh, inspecting these illegal dispensaries and most importantly, Madam Speaker, these edibles for kids. Nobody wants kids to be able to eat these gummy bears, cookies and brownies uh, bring them to their schools, and this is things that we have to address before moving forward with anything. Questions and comments? Uh, questions et commentaires. The Honourable Member for Beaches East York. Madam Speaker, I was very interested to hear from my friend uh, speaking about the recent Conservative Convention and this issue of giving tickets to individuals who are picked up for small possession. And I, my question for the member is, does he know that that answer is in fact decriminalization? The Honourable Member for Oshawa. Well, uh, Madam Speaker, again, uh, there's, there was a motion passed at the convention, and the reality is no matter what motion is passed anywhere, what Canadians do, what they expect is a government to be responsible. 
And what we're seeing from the Liberal members, and I am disappointed uh, that the Liberal me members are not fo moving forward, trying to get their ministers to pay attention to what's actually happening on the ground. The, in Vancouver, for example, there's more of these illegal marijuana dispensaries than Starbucks, Madam Speaker. More than Starbucks. And what is the Liberal government doing? They're totally ignoring it, and they're downloading it, the enforcement onto local municipalities. So any movement forward on this file means that, or what Canadians expect, is that a government take responsibility and have a responsible approach, not the irresponsible approach that's being advocated for today, but also by the Liberal Party that is doing absolutely nothing to address the municipal and the, the, the questions coming from our municipalities and ordinary Canadians. Questions and comments? Uh, questions et commentaires. The Honourable Member for Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank my, my friend for his remarks. I think it's important to underline that the motion passed at the Conservative Convention was not a decriminalization motion. It was one that I was pleased to speak in favour of, in fact. It was a motion that gave police the option, gave police a ticketing option. It didn't remove criminal penalties. It gave police a ticketing option. It expanded the range of options that are available. Uh, but I want to ask the member, I mean, we're, we're dealing with this debate in a particular context, a context in which, unfortunately, many young Canadians just don't understand the risks associated with marijuana. And, in fact, we have a Prime Minister who admitted to smoking marijuana while being an elected a Member of Parliament with nary an apology. So I wonder if the member can comment specifically on, on what information we can get to young people to help them understand the real risks associated with marijuana use. Brief answer from the member for Oshawa. Well, I'll be as brief as I possibly can, but the science is very clear, Madam Speaker, that for our youth, especially under the age of uh, 25, there are serious uh, mental health considerations, more likelihood of schizophrenia. Uh, and this is what is really concerning me right now with these illegal dispensaries. They are putting out kid-friendly products. I'm talking about cookies, brownies, gummy bears, jujubes. And this is proliferating around communities that have never had this issue before. It's exploding. And what I'd like to see from the Liberals is take some responsibility for this. Don't wait a year. Get out there right now and start putting the things in place so this stops immediately because it is affecting our kids. Resuming debate.